Oh, YouTube, meet from the bedroom here, you guitar junkie. Uh, so, uh, I was going through YouTube channels, or videos, I should say, of course. Right out of the gate, I gotta make a mistake, yeah. And um, I came across Jeff Beck playing with Billy Gibbons, ZZ Top, doing Rough Boys. And, um, again, Beck is just a genius, man. He just... He had the second solo on that song, and instead of him just, you know, doing what you normally see him doing, like, bang, 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 with the whammy bar and tapping on the strings, and the, he actually did a brilliant, as a genius would, solo on that. And um, I just love watching the whole video. I'll probably watch that, I don't know, about a dozen times, and steal as much as I can out of it. So I downloaded the backing track to it, and I'm going to try to play to it as best I can with my soul guitar. So, um, yeah, what's my soul guitar? It's not a Holly Benton. Uh, I think that uh, uh, if people don't see it's a Holly Benton for whatever reason, uh, just like if it's not a real Gibson Les Paul or Fender Stratocaster, they uh, skip over the videos. But the, I call this my soul guitar because um, the only place you can get it is still on the Bad Cats website or eBay. Um, and I've never had an actual 59 Les Paul in my hands. I've had reissues and the last time I played a 59 reissue was in Comac, Long Island, New York at Guitar Center with a buddy of mine and that's all I played was reissues and I feel this is uh, equivalent to that in my opinion and that's just me. Um, so I do have a friend of mine, he's professional uh, musician he's uh, he's well known and he's got a couple of them and um, I know if I if I if I went to where he is and and, uh, and hung out with him um, he'd let me play him but uh, I just don't want to touch a guitar that uh, <laughs> you know I might be dreaming about and saying man I wish I had that so uh, thank you but no thank you um, and Billy Gibbons he's friends with Billy Gibbons also he also goes to his place and plays his, his guitars because like I said he's got more than 159 but when I saw it the video I was like man I gotta do that but now to make this perfectly clear I'm not claiming that I'm gonna play it just as good as them not at all I don't know what the hell I'm doing but I'm gonna play it whatever I hear in my head a lot of the times that when I play something for the first time or I'm I want to figure out some kind of solo. This guitar brings it out of me. I don't know what, that's why I call it my soul guitar. This makes me play things I've never played on anything else and I probably never would play because even if I play it on here, and then let's just say hypothetically, I pick up a telly or, or the gold top over there. I don't play the same thing the same way, you know, and I'm a stickler on playing the same solo constantly, over and over, repetitively. Because I feel like if you see an entertainer and you hear like smoke on a water, you go to see that guy, you better hear the exact solo the way you hear it on the album. I hate when they, they you know, like, like, you know, Peter Frampton. I've never heard that guy or seen him play the same solo twice. I don't think he can. And when you hear Frampton comes alive and he's doing all the songs, you know them in your head, and then you see him live again doing it, and then it comes to the solo and he can't even do the same exact solo. That just drives me up the wall but that's just me so um, I've got uh, I don't I've got again I've, I've been blessed to know uh, a lot of professional my friends with a lot of professional musicians that I'm still in contact with and um, you know celebrities and stuff like that and um, I don't claim because there's one one friend of mine that um, he's a professional musician and He'll, he'll we'll go back and forth. He'll send me a, a video and uh, and I'll 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 hear it and then I'll go. Well, I'm gonna do that, you know. Um, I don't know. Just I don't know, pick it. Two tickets to paradise. I'm just popped into my head. If he sent me two tickets to paradise and he did the the, the guitar solo to it, I do the same thing and send it back to him. And I had another friend of mine saying, "Why do you do that? Do you do that because your solo is better than his? Not at all." There's no way my solo is better than his. Um, I do it the same reason why I mentioned it to Two Bike Mike. If we play the same song and you want to edit it and 
you know, put me on one side of the screen and split screen and put you on the other side, that's that's great. But no one but Two Bike Mike ever took me up on that offer. Just like anyone that I know that's that's a, you know, a professional musician that actually gets paid to sell albums, I go for them to use any one of my songs that I've written, and uh, I don't ask for a penny, just bragging rights. Put my name on the album, written by this guy, and man, I'd be talking about that in every video. You know, talk about dropping names. Boom, boom, boom. I'd be dropping that all the time. So I don't claim to think that I play it any better. I just have fun with it, and I enjoy it. So um, I had one more thing to say, but I forgot what that was, because that's how quick it comes and goes out of my head. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. attention and I was there when I should have been there I was there when I should have been there <laughs> so what's gonna happen I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen my buddy is going to call me up and say um, 
you on, you know, call me up on my phones and, and say, uh, you on your iPhone? Yes. Go to uh, FaceTime. Call me up and, and or however you would say, but call me up and say, yeah, um, I'm going to FaceTime with you. Okay, what's up? And then he would say, the perfect example. And I don't mind it one bit. I love him for it. He would say, yeah, you know when you went here? You know, and you should have been here. <laughs> That's what he would do. And, you know, I don't mind because he's constantly trying to teach me and I'm constantly trying to learn as best I could because, you know, that's the best way to do it. So, um, <laughs> I, I, I feel like I made more than one mistake on this, but you know me, it's, it's you know, one take beanie. <laughs> that would be my next hashtag. You know, beanie from the bedroom, hashtag one take beanie. I might just add that to it. So uh, let me know what you think if you enjoyed it at all. You know, uh, have a good day and a better tomorrow. Come on, remote.